Welcome back, everybody. It's Carolina versus the world, and we back here, you know, back on Madden, back trying to get a win, you know. I, I forget who we played last time. I think we played the Seahawks last time. That's probably why they show up Bobby Wagner. Hopefully, we don't get the Seahawks again because that's twice now that we didn't play it against them and we can't win. I don't know what it is about the Seahawks, but I I, I can't tell you. You know, I, I, I just play the game. But hopefully this time, you know, we'll get somebody we haven't played before. Therefore, it continues the series of teams we haven't played before. And if they show Bobby Wagner one more time, you know, God. But I'm excited to see who we get. Who we're gonna play against. And it looks like we're playing against the New Orleans Saints. The first time we're playing against the Saints. Well, actually it's the second time, but I didn't want to share the first time. The first time it was just like a straight blowout. So the first time playing against the Saints. Here we go. Drew Brees just set the passing record. But you know, and we lost them in real life, but it don't matter. It don't matter. Let's get it. And you know we gotta return it. Yes, sir. Let's go, White. Throw a block. Oh, oh. Ah, was that close? Coming out first and ten. First and ten. Handing the ball off to Christian McCaffrey. Final little hole. Yes, sir. Third and one. We did a fake run, but it didn't. It was an RPO, but it didn't work. Fourth and one, we had to go for it. Christian McCaffrey's right there. Get the first, Christian. We didn't get it? What? All right, we didn't get the first, so we're back on defense now. You know, I use the Luke Keekley, of course. See if we can get him to throw that thing. He's throwing it deep to Michael Thomas, but James Bradbury said no, sir. Third and six. Did I get him? Oh, I baited him throwing, and we get a pick. Luke Keekley with a pick. Yes, sir. I baited him to throw it. I slightly stepped over. It came back. He fell for it. Coming out, first and ten. Out of the turnover, we're in the Wildcat formation. Hope, I think he knows we're going to run it. We're going to fake the handoff, Christian McCaffrey. Coming out, second and six. Kyle Allen looking for somebody to throw. We got Jarius Wright wide open for a good game. First and ten after that long game. And we're throwing a screen pass, but it doesn't get to Christian. Fuck, why does that always happen? Third and ten, we're looking for somebody, and we throw a pick. Ah, PJ him. Williams, Kyle throwing a pick to PJ Williams, and we're not gonna catch him. He's getting in for a touchdown. Oh my God, that's my fault. Coming back on offense after the turnover, we're looking for somebody to throw it to, and we find Jarius Wright across the middle for almost the first. Sending Chris McCaffrey out to the flat. You no, know, he should be open, and he is open. So we get that. Hit him with a juke move. Get freed up some space. I should have juked him too. First and ten, coming out. Who we got open? Oh, we got Jarius Wright. Looks like he's wide open, but it gets picked by. Oh, that's P.J. Williams. The other one, uh, the other one is Marcus Williams. But I throw another pick. Damn it. But we got Luke Keekley in this X Factor after getting the pick. And he's finding Jared Cook. And we got to bring him down. First and 10. You know, I'm playing the middle. Hopefully he doesn't throw it. I'm covering both his options. And we get a sack. Bruce Irvin. Second and 28. We're playing pass coverage because. He's not running the ball. And we're leaving Jerry Cook wide open to almost get the first. All right, so I'm thinking he's got to throw a short. It's third and five. He went with a no huddle offense. He's got to throw a short. He's doing audible plays. And we're just seeing who he's going for. And he's going for Mike Thomas, but it's picked by Eric Reed. That's a pick. You can't throw that post. All right, we're back in our own end zone. I had to get in the, I had to get the interception, but we're going nowhere. So third and low, and I see he's bringing in that cornerback. He might have messed up. 
and I'm not running the ball, and my control is about to die. But we're sending DJ Moore out, out there on a the fly route, and he's burning Marcus Williams for almost a 98 or 99 yard touchdown. DJ Moore always scores. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? 96 yard touchdown. You can't play cornerback and leave him open. Coming back out on defense out of the long touchdown score. He's giving it to Alvin Kamara and we, he gets the first down. First and 10. We're using a Luke Keekley trying to see who's going to get it. That's got to be a pick. That's a pick. I should have picked it, but Trey Boston gets the interception. That's the second interception he's thrown in the game. I don't know how he caught that, but all right. Coming out for a screenplay to Christian McCaffrey. We just need a block, and we get it. Good block right there. Hurdle over him. I don't even know how he tackled me. Going up for a draw play. Right up the middle to Christian McCaffrey getting the first down. Yes, sir. All right, we're moving things on offense. We're finding Greg Olsen with a quick cut inside. Another cut inside, and we're getting big. Oh, my God. All right, we just need a touchdown. We're all here in the end zone, and I pump fake, and there's nobody to be found. All right, second and goal, who we got? At the end of the half, we throw it to Curtis Samuel, Curtis Samuel, and he drops it. Are you serious? Curtis Samuel drops the ball for a potential touchdown. Finding Mike Thomas across the middle. He's coming out, third and two, third two, Jerick, or uh, I don't know who that was, didn't even catch the ball. Fourth and two, who's he looking for? Who's he looking for? We're using that, that's Dante Jackson, yes sir, that's an interception. That is an interception by Dante Jackson, that's his third interception of the game that he's thrown. Coming out after the interception, Kyle Allen looking for somebody to throw. And we find Curtis Samuel with a beautiful dot by Kyle Allen. That might be the best pass he's ever thrown. All right, coming out, first and 10, we're finding a screenplay to Christian McCaffrey, finding some blocks, looking for opening space. If we would have had that one last block, we might have scored. Coming out first and 10, we're doing a triple option play to our fullback, and I don't know how he didn't get the touchdown. Big boy getting yards. All right, we're doing a read option. I probably should gave it to him, and then Kyle Allen fumbles it. And he kicks the ball. Are you serious? I am so tired of, I mean, we caught him with DJ Moore, but I am so tired of Madden allowing people to kick the ball up. Am I playing FIFA? All right, so we're getting blocked. He's giving it to Alvin Kamara. We got to make an open field tackle, but we can't. Luckily, Shaq Thompson was there. All right, we still got Luke Keekley. That should have been a fumble. That was a big hit by Luke. Coming out third and four, and oh, they wouldn't let me pick it. I was right there. They would not let me catch it. You know, a second ago, he's got Taysom Hill in. And we he faked the handoff. And he's just going to run it right in with Taysom Hill. All right. We're down by a touchdown with two minutes left to go. Let's see if Cal Allen has it in him. He already fumbled. So we're going to just hand it off to Christian McCaffrey. We didn't get much yards. Second and eight, we need somewhere to go, so we're going to screen play to Christian McCaffrey. We need a block. We don't got one, so we got to make up our own moves. And I'm getting free, doing spin moves and jukes, and and we get a big game for Christian McCaffrey. First and ten with a minute left to go. We need somebody open. We find Greg Olson slipping through the midfield, and he gets a first down. Good effort. 
First and 10, 50 seconds left to go. We find Christian McCaffrey wide open at like the 13 yard line. We're going no huddle. We have 30 seconds left to go. We need some, something to happen, a miracle. Kyle Allen hiking the ball. And we're finding Jerry is right. Trying to get a extra, few extra yards. Still going no huddle. We got 10 seconds left to go. And we just need a quick completion. And I need to hike the ball. And we're finding Jerry is right. But Kyle Allen makes a terrible go. Oh my God. Kyle Allen, dude. Last play of the game, we got four seconds left to go. Same play, we're running the exact same play. We have to find somebody open. I don't think the slant's gonna be open, so I'm sending Chris McCaffrey on a drag route. We need this, Cal. Cal, we need this. And there's nobody open, and we're sacked, and that's gonna be the end of the game. Cameron Jordan sacks, Cal. To end the game? Are you serious? Kyle may just not be the starter after this game. I'm pretty sure in real life they're starting Will Greer anyway. Oh my god, we can't beat the Saints. I understand the Saints is good, but I, if Kyle Allen was better, we could have definitely won. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Carolina vs. the World. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Man, next episode, we're probably gonna have a new quarterback. But that does it for this one. Thank you, guys, and peace.